Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Department of Science and Technology recently launched the science-based South African Bioeconomy Strategy that had been approved by Cabinet in November last year. Leandi Kolva has the story. The Bioeconomy Strategy will replace the National Biotechnology Strategy, which had been in place since 2001, positioning bioinnovation as essential to the achievement of government's industrial and social development goals. Science and Technology Minister Derek Hanekom explains. The biotechnology strategy and, and the work that was being done was somewhat project-based, somewhat taking uh, sort of biotechnology firms trying to achieve the sort of rapid commercialization of, the, of biotechnology firms at a regional level and in different sectors. The bioeconomy um, um, concept is a much broader one. It's saying let's let's look at the entire value chains uh, chains in a range of areas of possibility and opportunity and areas in response to South Africa's priority areas of need. So uh, in the bioeconomy strategy, we've pulled out the agricultural sector, obviously going to be the largest um, sector of the economy that will benefit from and needs uh, the application of biotechnology or or various forms of biologically based processes in order to get maximum value out of the sector. Other sectors also included in the strategy are the health sector and the industrial sector. Also speaking at the strategy launch, DST Bioinnovation Chief Director Ben Durham addressed the way forward. It has been mentioned this is not the end, this is not the time to sit back and um, say we've done it this is now the time that we need to start getting the process going. And we have learnt an enormous amount through the uh, biotechnology strategy, um, but we have come up with the bioeconomy strategy and some of the fundamental differences here are the creation of these coordinating uh, committees. These committees then will make sure that it's not just an academic idea that we are pursuing because it is interesting. We are making sure that any idea that is pursued is in the national interest, whether it is the market, whether it is the national government, or whether it is industry that sees an opportunity, but that they are not just an academic interest. It is a real opportunity to have an impact in the bioeconomy. The, the second key point in terms of the way forward is the creation of implementation plans. Um, these are going to be developed under the guidance of these coordinating committees that will come up with interventions, activities, programs, requirements, needs, objectives for actually implementing the bioeconomy strategy. Other news making headlines this week, a wind tower manufacturing facility is on track for its February 2014 opening and the African market helps the recovery of a local pipe manufacturer. Engineering group DCD Wind Towers is on track to complete the construction of its 300 million rand wind tower manufacturing facility in the Kucha Industrial Development Zone in the Eastern Cape by February 3, 2014. The factory is going to manufacture wind tower um, towers for the wind in, renewable wind energy. Um, the capacity is designed to manufacture about 110 towers a year. We're looking at increasing it by employing another shift and running continuous operation to 150 towers a year. And then with, in the future with further investments, we, we should be able to get up to 200 towers per year. The factory will be complete in the, the 3rd of February. We will get a handover from the construction people. We're in the process as, as, you, as, as we speak to uh, install machines and, and to start commissioning machines so that we can be in op full operation in February. South African plastic pipes manufacturer Pipeflow has been expanding its presence in the African market to recover from the financial downturn that resulted from the high incidence of labor unrest in the mining industry in 2012. There's a lot of expansion opportunities in the African market. There's a lot of new mines going up in Africa. There's a lot of new water projects coming up. Uh, we've spoken about the gas projects that, that's possibly coming up in Namibia and so forth. 
So there is a lot of uh, demand in the African market for, for, low, for HTPE pipes. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.